If you reach the freight elevator, you may hear this voice line telling you to check the logs. We've already examined this. Check your log. The problem is, even if you do check the logs, it really doesn't help. This is just an error in the game. You simply need to level up Production Terminal Victor to Tier 7, and then you will get the waypoint activated to fix the freight elevator. The waypoint will be marked with an exclamation point and labeled as such. To level up the terminal, you will need 4,750 iron frames, 4,750 copper frames, 500 processor units, 3,400 conveyor mark twos, 1,400 Atlantum ingots, and 320 megajoules of accumulated charge. After leveling up the terminal, to repair the freight elevator, you will need 2,500 copper frames, 2,500 iron frames, 500 advanced circuits, and 1.2 gigajoules of accumulated charge. As you can see, it will require a bit of elbow grease to get to tier 7, as well as fix the freight elevator, so my advice would be to start automating the production of the following items as soon as possible. Accumulators, iron frames, copper frames, processor units, conveyor mark twos, and Atlantum ingots. It would also help to automate the process of the subcomponents such as copper wires, electrical components, plant matter frames, copper components, mechanical components, conveyor belts, iron components, silver thorn coolant, and cooling systems. It's optional and up to you, but even setting up just one assembler to make each of these subcomponents will save you a lot of time. Once you level up Terminal Victor to Tier 7, you can also automate Advanced Circuits, which uses processor units, cooling systems, and Atlantum ingots. Here is another reason why I would suggest taking some time to automate the process. The raw material cost for handcrafting all the necessary items for leveling up Terminal Victor will be 27,963 iron ingots, 26,232 copper ingots, 6,800 silver thorn extract, 23,800 limestone, and 900 plant matter fiber. If you use assemblers, you only need half the ingredients and way less time, so you can see why automation would be convenient. I'm not joking about the time saved, by the way. If you handcraft just the iron frames alone, it will take 47 and a half minutes, and that's with craft speed level to 4. Without any craft speed updates, it will take a whopping 4 hours. For me, I would recommend at least 3 assemblers pumping out iron and copper frames to make them in a timely fashion. For the Atlantum ingots, you will need 12,600 Atlantum powder from 12,600 Atlantum ore, 21,000 kindlevine extract, and 4,200 silver thorn extract. Keep in mind Atlantum ore veins can only be drilled by Mark II drills. For now, I will mark what I believe to be the closest and most convenient Atlantum ore vein to use. If you need more assistance with Atlantum ore, I will link my Atlantum ore guide below. After you level up Terminal Victor, if you have already automated the process of making all these items I suggested above, then unlocking the freight elevator should be a breeze. Iron and copper frame production should already be automated, and you only need 2500 of each. To make advanced circuits, you merely need to combine processing units, cooling systems, and Atlantum ingots. I had one assembler making advanced circuits, and this was fast enough for me since I was also handcrafting them at the same time. As for the power, you will need 320 megajoules for Terminal Victor and 1.2 gigajoules for the freight elevator. This means you will need to have a minimum of 32 fully charged accumulators for Terminal Victor and 120 fully charged accumulators for the freight elevator. If you don't have enough accumulators made, you can set one assembler to make accumulators and automate the process or handcraft the subcomponents and feed it into the assembler. You can also choose to handcraft the accumulators as you explore if you want. Do you keep in mind the power accumulation research unlock will increase the amount of charge each accumulator can hold, meaning you won't need to build as many accumulators. For example, with Power Accumulation 2, you'll only need 22 accumulators instead of 32 for Terminal Victor. If you level up Power Accumulation 3, you'll only need 60 accumulators total for the freight elevator instead of the 120. It may be worth your time to build additional research cores and get these upgrades. 
As for the charge requirement, using a high voltage cable would be the easiest and cheapest method of connecting the freight elevator to your base power. This is the cabling route I took. You can use whatever route you want. As for your crank setup, you just need to make sure you are generating more power than you are using, so add more cranks until you start seeing the accumulators gain charge if you don't see any charge building up. You can also get the passive upgrades to increase power generation or decrease power usage. This should cover the basics of getting the freight elevator operational. Hopefully this helped, and if you guys have any more questions or your own tips, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.